No thanks, no thanks, no thanks. Hey everyone, I'm headed to a call in South Phoenix. Lady just called. She's got a rattlesnake coiled up by her front door, so it should be pretty easy. Almost there, so let's go. Hello. How are you? Good, how you doing? Doing well. Got a little friend here. Yes, we do. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for coming out. Yeah, you're very welcome. He's just right under the planter there. Tiger rattlesnake? How'd you even see that? You'd like have to bend over to sit. Oh, because you're just sitting there? Or? Um, so, no, well, we saw him last night. And, oh, okay. Uh, Can I, uh, or is yeah, this in the ground? Up, um, oh, okay. I think. Hello, little snake. You're like wedged in there. No, don't wedge yourself more. It's a tiger rattlesnake. Which is very cool. <laughs> he's gorgeous. He's very light. Oh yeah, he's yeah. That's awesome. So cool. My first tiger of the year. Really? Relocation, yeah. <laughs> so it's always exciting. Where was he on your patio last night? Just right on the corner oh, right there. He came there. a little bit inside of the uh, uh, dog fencing. This is a baby one, isn't it? It's an adult. It's oh, a young it's adult. adult. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. There are smaller species. They don't okay. get too, too large. Is this your first one? Uh, we saw another one. I don't know if it was a tiger. Or okay. Not. Yeah, there's a couple different species that uh, over here. The tiger is one of the cool ones, though. <laughs> I can poke around and see if you can just in case, you know. Yeah, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. um, All right, people, what is up? I'm coming back at you with another removal. This time I'm headed to Camelback Mountain, uh, which is actually kind of right in the middle of the city of Phoenix. And you wouldn't think there's rattlesnakes there, but there are. Um, so I'm headed to Camelback Mountain to a very important customer uh, that I do regular inspections for. Can't really snake proof their property just because of how it's situated on the mountain. A lot of these properties are kind of built into the side of the mountain so that's kind of the situation with this one currently they have a snake that is uh, sitting under a rock so since it's on Camelback Mountain I'm hoping for a pink speckled rattlesnake we'll see we got the snake guy <laughs> oh yeah you oh, heard shit. the rattle yeah and then what he curled up under He's a rock under or a something rock. yeah we walked right by him like within a foot of him so what um, how's it going it's good to see you again good man. to see you man yeah I mean I Listen, I'll put my hand up here. Last thing I want is to grab a snake. Okay. Y'all are pros. Y'all are pros. Teamwork. In the Phoenix area, there are two rattlesnake species that are often confused for one another. Those would be the tiger rattlesnake and the southwestern speckled rattlesnake. They're both kind of the same size and superficially similar and often live side by side in the same areas. It's no wonder why they are often confused for one another, but here are a few things you can do to tell them apart really quick. The first thing is just the head size. Tiger rattlesnakes have a head that can be half as big as a similarly sized speckled rattlesnake, as you can see here in this side-by-side -side comparison. However, without this comparison, it can be a little bit tricky, so don't just look at the head as a way to tell the difference. The tail also has bands 
black and white bands on a speckled rattlesnake and this is missing on a tiger rattlesnake where the pattern just kind of fades directly into the rattle. On a tiger rattlesnake, the bands, those tiger bands are often a lot more vivid and cleaner than they would be on a speckled rattlesnake that are more broken up. However, there are speckled rattlesnakes that have a very clean banded pattern as well. So don't look at this as a lone indicator as well. Just like with other species of rattlesnakes, when you're trying to identify them, don't just look at one thing. Focus on the big picture and use these things as indicators that can tell you this looks more or less like a speckled rattlesnake and this looks more or less like a tiger rattlesnake. One of the other things you can do too is just keep in mind the fact that speckled rattlesnakes are much more often seen than tigers. Their habits, their tendency to be out in the daytime just means that people are gonna see them more often. So by default, if you're in a place where specks and tigers both live, it's most likely a speckled rattlesnake, maybe a tiger rattlesnake. In either way, if you're not sure, you can send us a photograph to id at rattlesnakesolutions.com and we'll tell you for sure what it is. All right, we got this gorgeous tiger rattlesnake. Look at that thing, so pretty. I love tiger rattlesnakes. So good. Should we get a little closer? So these guys are actually the most venomous snake that we do have here in Arizona. Drop for drop, their venom is the most potent, but you can see that they have um, a little tiny pea head. <laughs> So I call it anyways. Their head is just so small, they don't deliver a lot of venom. In turn, it kind of equals out if you were to be bit by a bigger rattlesnake with a lot more venom. All right, so I found this nice rock here. Let him go. See you later, tiger rattlesnake. So good. Well, that was awesome. Oh, tiger rattlesnake, good way to start the day. All right, people. So what we've got under this hat here is one of my favorite rattlesnakes in the city of Phoenix. This is a Southwestern speckled rattlesnake and it is the pink variety. Now, I'm not gonna spend too much time checking them out here because this snake is very stressed. It had a stressful capture. There were a ton of people watching. This is the pink variety of speckled rattlesnake. Uh, very comparable with the stripes to a tiger rattlesnake. Definitely similar looking. However, there are some distinguishing features. Without further ado, I'm just gonna help him into this new home we got here. We can cool off can release some of those stress hormones from his body that have accumulated from this capture. Get a good look at the tail there. A little touch on the tail here. Get him to tuck into those rocks and I think he's gone. That's a speckled rattlesnake, one of my favorite rattlesnakes here in Phoenix. That's another successful removal. I am pouring sweat clearly. You can see I'm pretty shiny. So I'm gonna go back to the car and cool off. But I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Bye.